That is quite inspiring and I'm sure a lot of people would get to understand that it's a matter of understanding and I think a lot of people are not knowledgeable about the history and the past and all the things that happened to our families in the past so they, there's a disconnect they see everybody with an accent as foreign and I'm sure if you tell people you're Ghanaian they, they're going to have a problem with that they, they, do. they call me white ah. and I'm like what did you say? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not white. Mm. Guys, you don't understand what we went through in America. Yeah, yeah. So, but my approach also is that I also recognize that the, the, the people here have suffered mm. and they are suffering. Mm. So when they see an opportunity to make more money, they don't, it's not against me personally. It's, oh, I've got this white lady in mm. the shop mm. and she has money. Let me get as much money as I can get today mm. because tomorrow I may not have business. I recognize the mm. suffering of the Ghanaians. I approach it like this. If you give me a good price, okay? Say I want three dresses. Mm -hmm. You want to charge me 300 CDs. You give me a good price for those three dresses, I'll be your customer forever. Mm. You will have a regular income. I'll come back. And mm. I do. I serve the same people in my community. Mm. I try because I want them to have a, a regular income. Yeah. And I said, but if you charge me a Bruni, as a Bruni, you won't see me again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, oh, mommy, sorry, sorry. <laughs> so, <laughs> but I recognize, I don't take it personal. Mm -hmm. I recognize mm -hmm. their suffering. Yeah. And the next day they may not have a customer. Yeah. So they try to get as much as they can get for that one day. So it's about recognizing the suffering, like you said, everything's not perfect in Ghana, and nothing's perfect anywhere. Mm -hmm. But any way that we can reach them and approach them, and like she says, their attitude changes, mm -hmm. and they understand. I was also surprised that many Ghanaians don't know black history. Yes. Mm -hmm. They've never been to the castles. It's not taught in schools that much. No. Not at no. all. Yeah. And they don't, they've never been to the, to the castles. Mm. And when I came, I started taking Ghanaians to the castles. But these were your ancestors too. Mm -hmm. These were, this, all of us ended up in this boat. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and this is how, you know, all of this came about. Mm. So it's a matter of educating and compassion. Yeah. And we will build again. Mm -hmm.